This is a Filipino story about the crafty Pilindok. Pilindok needs to cross a river full of crocodiles in order to carry out an errand for his mother. What would you do if you were Pilindok? Pilindok and the Crocodiles Part 1 One morning, his mother asked Pilindok to pick mangoes in the village of Mabuga. To get to the village of Mabuga, Pilindok had to cross a river. But the bridge had collapsed, and the river was home to large crocodiles. Pilindok asked the leader of the crocodiles permission to cross the river. You can't cross, the leader of the crocodiles grunted. We eat whoever across the river. The crocodiles looked hungry. So Pilindok thought of a plan to cross the river safely and do what his mother had asked him. How many are you? asked Pilindok. Twenty. The leader of the crocodiles quickly answered. Pilindok pretended to count all the crocodiles in the river. But I only see ten crocodiles. No, we're twenty, insisted the leader of crocodiles. I see only ten, repeated Pilindok. That's impossible, shouted the crocodiles. We're twenty in all. Wait, Pilindok calmly said. Why don't you line up so I can count all of you to make sure no one is missing? The crocodiles followed Pilindok's suggestion and lined up side by side. So I can be sure, counted Pilindok. I will step on each of your backs as I count each one of you. One counted Pilindok as he stepped on the back of the leader of the crocodiles closest to the riverbank. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And Pilindok hopped onto the other side of the river before finally shouting, Twenty! Pilindok hurriedly picked the mangoes. He filled his bag with ripe, big, and sweet mangoes. He even ate some and fell asleep after eating. Pillandog had to come up with another plan in order to get back home with the mangoes. Will the crocodiles be cheated once again? Pillandog and the Crocodiles Part 2 it was afternoon when Pilindok woke up. He was delighted when he saw the river quiet and without any crocodiles. Maybe they got impatient waiting for me, he thought as he went into the water. But the crocodiles were waiting for Pilindok. When he reached the middle of the river, the crocodiles suddenly appeared. It was too late for poor Pilindok to return to the riverbank. Oh, I'm glad you're still here, said the smiling but terrified Pilindok. Please help me cross the river. My bag is heavy with mangoes and I might drown. We will eat you, growled the leader of crocodiles. Eat my mangoes instead offered Pilindok. They're delicious. It's you we want to eat, grunted the crocodiles. Wait! Pilindok had to come up with a plan quickly. Why do you want to eat me? Because your liver is good to eat, the leader of the crocodiles said hungrily. Oh, too bad! Pilindok pretended to be sad. And why? The puzzled leader of the crocodiles asked. It is bad for my liver to get wet, Pilindok explained. And so I left it at home. But if my liver is what you want, I could get it for you. Before the crocodiles could think, he jumped onto the back of the leader of crocodiles. Take me to the other side, Pilindok said and I will get my liver from our house. So that was what happened. Pilindok rode on the back of the leader of the crocodiles. 
and crossed to the other side of the river. When they reached the shore, Hilindo quickly hopped off the back of the leader of the crocodiles and ran home saying, Wait for me while I get my liver! Twice, Hilindok succeeded in tricking the hungry crocodiles in the river. The crocodiles were foolish enough to believe that a person could leave behind his own liver. The crocodiles were foolish enough to hope that Pilandok will return to give them his liver. But in a short while, Pilandok returned with a piece of wood. Where is your liver? they eagerly asked. Wait! exclaimed Pilandok. My liver grew big when I left it at home. I want to see which of you has the largest mouth so I can give him my liver. That's me! shouted the leader of the crocodiles as he opened his mouth to the fullest. Let's see, said Pilandok. Pilandok approached the leader of the crocodiles and put the piece of wood inside his wide open mouth. Then he quickly ran away from the river bank. It was too late for the leader of the crocodiles to realize that he had again been deceived by the clever Pilandok. Hack! Hack! shouted the leader of crocodiles, who could not close his big mouth because of the piece of wood.